Because you're following the message of the hour. And when you do that, then he can back it up. Okay, and he will do it for you. So in there, then Israel walked onto dry land. The sea opened up. And the Egyptians followed. Because they have hardened hearts. And I think sometimes when we want to do something for God, and He doesn't open the door, and we push and we push and we push, He hardens our hearts. And we go through so many struggles. And we didn't have to. Because the first time he spoke to you in the heart and said, Hey, what are you doing? You pushed it aside. And said, no, I want to do this. Even if it's just a business. I've seen it in my own life. I've been hurt so badly financially at one stage in my life. Because I followed something that was good. But in my heart, it was like a knife had come into my heart. And I still went for it. I still did it. I think it took me two or three years to be able to to be able to get my finances back up. So we need to listen to that voice. So, uh, verse 24. Verse 24. So it came to pass that in the morning, watch the Lord looked unto the host of Egyptians through the pillar of fire and the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their charity wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighteth for them and against the Egyptians. You see, Laban, but the Bainam actually, actually dramatizes that. And he says, the angels come. And they loosen the bolts of the chariots. And they didn't know. So when they start driving, their wheels come off. You see, we always have the upper hand. If you stand on his word for the day, in the fullness of the word, amen. Yes, sir. We have to do that. We have so much backup. Think of it, we have eternity behind us. If we have trouble, he will come through. Yes. It might take a long time. But that's just to test you. God does things according to his plan and his will. It's not according to our every begging call. I just wrote here, I said, it's, it's amazing. Sometimes, I don't know how many times you've seen that when you drive. I should have had so many accidents in my life. Yeah. Yeah. The other day, I was, I was on the road. Was it, it was a side road. I think I was going 80 k's an hour. And I was in an area I didn't know, so I think I looked down to look at the maps. And I saw a truck in front of me. But I didn't realize he had stopped. So I just, it was a split second, just like that. Split second. 
Okay, I, I don't know what you're saying, but yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Kikyo. Amen. Okay, good. So the thing about it is, if God didn't make me look up at that split second, I wouldn't be here. You see, but we as children, and we have backup. Amen. Yes, sir. So Exodus 14 again, verse 30 and 31. Exodus <laughs> Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And the Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And the Israel saw that the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant yes. Moses. Whereas before they were like, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> But now they knew. Yeah. This yes. is God's man. Amen. And if Moses, if Moses had got frantic and, and got out of order and stuff like that, it would have been a disaster. Amen. So even stand, even if, this, if it's scientifically they can prove it's wrong, stand. Amen. Amen. Doesn't matter. If you're sick and you're going to die tomorrow, but God has placed in your heart that you will be healed tomorrow, do you know what's yeah. going to happen? You're going to get healed. Yes. Because of the stand. So I'm sorry, I've got another lengthy um, quote here. Have I really been almost an hour already? No. What time did we start? 40 minutes already. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah, this um, is a quote here. I'll try and skip through some of it because it's, because it's quite lengthy. Um, let me just go down here a little bit. So he says, Mrs. Weber was dying with TB. They sent her home to die. There was nothing they could do for her. Mrs. Grace Weber in Jeffersonville. She had got five or six children. So the angel of the Lord come to me that night and said, Go and tell Mrs. Weber and tell Mr. Weber rather to get things ready. For he's going to be left without the, with his with children on his hands. For his wife's going. So I went and told Mr. Weber. And I told his little girl, little, little Jane Rose. Which is a nurse now. Okay. Um, I'm just going down again, yeah. You can't, you can't live but a little, little while longer. And two days after that, or three days, they come. There's some ladies from the government depot there, where she worked. She, they said. She said, if I could only have Brother Bill to pray for me once more. She said, I have seen when my cousin Opal was healed with cancer. And the doctor just gave her until, to, until morning to live. And her daughter's a nurse too. The girls from the government where she worked said, there ain't nothing to that guy. 
Eh, I government are he is nothing but a hypocrite that's all that religion is is just a bunch of fake fanaticism and so Miss Weber said look I'm dying look I'm dying and I know that but I just won't stand for that but she said, I know better than that. I lived right here around the city, around that man all the time. I seen him from a girl, from a child growed up. You can call it fake if you want to, but I've seen it just as much as seen God heal people. She said, I know that man's life and I know it's the truth. And it happened to be the angel of the Lord heard that. And that very night, sitting on the side of my chair in the room, after I got up and went and got a drink of water, I seen him come walking through the door. He said, tomorrow, Sunday, that they're going to pick Miss Weber up and bring her down. She'll be sitting on the right side, far back in the tabernacle. Said, I heard her. Tell her I heard her. What she said, Tell her, thus saith the Lord, she'll live no, and not die. Yes. There you are. You can go down and see her if you like to. It's been about seven years. His presence was there when she was taking up for what was right, see? His presence was there. He found her. He come and told me what she said. What she said to these women. And he had respect to her because she had respect unto what was representing God. So if you respect the prophets, he will respect you. And God will do the same thing for you. Not to respect me, but to respect him. To Christ, the one who died for our healing. If you just give respect to him and his word, God will do the work for you. Amen. Is that right? You see, so it doesn't matter which way we look. Whether we look to the left or right, whether the pressure's there, but if you just stand, and testify. Tell the people what God has done for you. They might say, but you don't have a job. But it doesn't matter. You have eternal life. Remember that man that the prophet was standing there and he was, this man was showing to the prophet that he, he owned up to the hills. He owned the bank in town. Super rich guy. A very, very rich guy. And the prophet said, That's all fine, but what do you own up there? Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Yes. So I, I'm almost done, but I want to read something to you. So in the message, the contest, the contest. There was a prof, there was a, 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 a interpretation. 
that after the prophet had preached there was a tongues and interpretation and the contest was the last message preached in 1962 so we know what came in 1963 so I just want to I want to read what he said. I actually wrote I, I typed it out last night. My people I say unto thee. I am the one and only God. And beside me there is none other. I am the Lord of creation. I am the word that became manifested unto thee. I am the word that comes before thee even this night. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Did I not say that I would come in like manner? Have I not fulfilled my word every dot and every line? O oh, my people, I, s- I say unto thee, look up for thy redemption draweth nigh. And it's even at the gates. And I say unto thee, if thou shalt continue to humble thyself and not lean unto thine own understanding, but follow me. That thou shalt truly be in my favor and in my sight. And I say unto thee, thou hast seen my glory before thee, and thou shalt continue to see my glory. If thou shalt remain in the truth, as thou hast heard it, and I say unto thee that many strange things may happen in the days to come. May my word be established in thy heart. May it be written in thy life that thou shalt not turn to the right nor the left. But keep thine eyes single unto me, for I am a jealous God. And the days are coming to an end. When all the truth shall be revealed. Has that happened? Yes, sir. Shall be revealed unto thee, and thou shalt stand alone, yet thou shalt be together. Isn't that lovely? And I say unto thee, none shall go away. None shall be desolate. None shall be left without a guide. None shall be left without truth. None shall be left without comfort. None shall be left without their God, for I am thy God. And I am thy midst. I have seen my people. I have heard their afflictions. I hear their cries unto me. I I shall deliver them. Even as I delivered my people of old out of Egypt. I shall deliver thee even as I have come. As I have come in the fullness of my presence. Even as I have come in the great power and revelation, I shall be with thee. Stand fast and move not. Thus saith the Lord. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But the band after that says, thank you, Father God. Thank you for this new exhortation that sends, that sends us out with hopes and with comfort of knowing 
And through the speaking of these words to these men who knew not that the message is true. And you are take asking us to stand by it. We will do all that. We know how. Lord, to stand by you and your word. Amen. Let's Amen. just go to Proverbs um, 19. Proverbs 19. The preacher should find the part first. <laughs> Somehow I've lost. There we go. I've got it. Okay. Belo ya moto ilo gama ano amanchi kupete kupete gasi madena asibei leo moto ochata ki moto kimo le mochana ato opala muna wagufor. Uh, just one verse. Just just twenty one. Yeah. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so I just want to I want to play a quote. They said I can just play it off here. And then I'll be finished. Um, it's, just, it's just three minutes. So just tell me if you can hear okay. Perfect people. We make our mistakes. We do things that's wrong. But you see, love covers all of that. We're willing when we see our mistakes to come back and apologize to one another. That's, that's warriors. That's, that's really man of, and women. It's gallant. Any man can go out to the battlefield. It's got nerve enough to walk out there. But when he gets knocked down, they can get up and try it again. And see, and used to be a song that a young man and young woman used to sing in the church. Uh, if I fall or if I fail, see, if I fall or if I, I forget how it goes. Let me rise and try again. Or give me, Lord, and try me one more time. See, if I fall or if I sin, let me rise and try again. Just forgive me, Lord. And try me one more time. And with uh, as many as 120 people here together, you're bound to this fine thing. Sometimes the enemy will sweep in among you and through your minds and, and start this at. Just stop when it does. Think back. Think of this morning. Think of the times when you're sitting together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Some of you are plumbers and some are carpenters and some this, that, and the other. You rub arms with the world each day when you're out there. But when you see those things and great temptations rise, just remember these little sacred places where you're sitting together with the only thing that lasts. Your jobs will fail one of these days. Your health will fail. Even your life, your own earth will fail. But then that won't fail. And if he's the center of all things, then let's keep our minds on the center post. What is draw us to this? Amen. Isn't that beautiful? I think that puts it in a nutshell. Amen. Anyway, let's let's pray. Let's close our eyes. Bow, bow our heads. Um, I don't know if something touched anybody's heart today. Uh, there are hands that are going up. Uh, I so appreciate that. You know, it doesn't matter what you're going through. God is so gracious. It's just to ask him for the peace while you're going through it. Because it might be a year-long battle. But he knows. He knows. I think of the woman at the well. God knew her, her state. She, he knew everything about her, what condition she was in. But it didn't matter. 
Because he was looking to the predestination. He was looking at the trial that they went, that you go through. He's looking at you. He wants to shape you into the form of his mind. Amen. Let's just pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, you've been so gracious this morning, Father. Your love is so good to us, Father. And Lord, you know we are just feeble humans, Lord. Even the scripture says, let every man's word be a lie, Father. But Lord, we stand on your word, Lord. And we apply it to our lives this morning. All the hands that are raised, Lord. We are a needy people, Father God. May you take the words, Lord, of your, what you've spoken, Lord, and let it go into the hearts, Lord, and let them stand, Father, regardless of the situation, Lord. Lord, we do, Father, but we just need sometimes, we just need more of you, Father God. We need more of your presence, Lord. We get cold, Father. We get all, all formal, Father God. Really, Lord, come into our lives, Lord, and change us and make us the way you desire us to be, Father God. Because without you, Father, we are nothing, Father God. We love you with all our hearts, Lord. We love the people, Father God. We have to love the people, Father. Your prophet shows, if you love me, you love the people, Father God. And we're so grateful for these things, Lord. May you be with us now, Lord. We ask all this in your precious name, Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. He. He is Lord, He is Lord, He has risen from God bless you, brother. He is Lord. Let us then to our feet. Every every nation, every time, every time, let us lift our hands unto the Lord. That Jesus Christ, that He, let us close our eyes now. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. He is Lord. Let us all sing. Let us all lift our hands up to the Lord. Let us all lift our hands up to the Lord. Yes. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. He has risen. From the dead, oh, he's Lord, he's the Lord of glory. He will never betray you. 
He'll never run away from you. Stand with his word. Know who he is. He will stand for you. Amen. Can you say amen to that, friends? No matter what happens, stand with the word. There is power in that word. There is life in that word. Stand with the word. Even against your better judgment. Stand with the word. The Bible says, I will never leave you. I will not forsake you. Thank you, my Lord. Let us all close our eyes. He has risen from the dead. Listening 
Your precious sister. Last time. That very angel. Is here. Listen to the voice of your heart. Listen to your crisis. That angel is here. Give them courage in the name of 
Jesus. Let me know those of us, Father God, who are low in their spirit, oh dear God. May you lift them up in the name of Jesus. Maybe there are those who are sick, Father God. Give them healing in the name of Jesus. According to your word, oh dear God.
I stand for you, my Lord. In this world, Father God, may that great angel of the covenant be always for our sight, my teacher. Who 
kutela humrena Upa bwane mozi ya mbanga mroko wa mkinda wako Davita Baba Vari vote vodzula wa mzumba mwoni Vodzula mzumba mwoni hamkona zote Vodzula mzumba mwoni haa Mlisika utadona lipasi ya hofa Koti inerea balivu wa mrena Zauri bwane vakatwana rene masiara na mozi Mwono wanga rich katidopa mbana panu Mrena ka uwe bwane bwane wa chimbra wa narina Uwe bwane ya hofa bari kutela ho Uwe bwane ya hofa mwone wa shu bwane bari tela ho subuya Gatina la manda la mrena yeso kristo achila ho papa ari alibuwa Amen Hallelujah Thank you mighty God Let us give him a hand Let us give him a hand Hallelujah He will stand for you
Amen. You know, I feel like Miriam. You know, Miriam. Maria. 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 That day. That day. When she saw the Egyptians getting killed because they stood with God. When she was looking at the enemy, perishing behind her, she could not hold her peace because she could see God in action. If you see God in action, in your very life, in your very life, you're not going to hold yourself. Never, I'm telling you. You are starchy because you see nothing. You are starchy because you see nothing. There is nothing dying behind you. Your enemy is with you. And destroying your life. Run to the cross. Please. Go to Jesus. Run to him. Run to him. Run to him. He's your shelter. Run to Jesus. And stand upon that rock of ages. No matter what happens to you. Brother Jonathan. God bless you, my precious brother. That was from the Lord. And uh, God spoke to my life. Don't you think I want to go to when you are looking at me? I came here for God to speak to my life. And I heard God speaking to my life. When you see myself jumping in God, by my precious brother, He spoke to me. As I'm going to sing this song. Are you all happy, brother? How many enjoyed the weight of God? When that angel was listening to the sister there, remember the prophecy was made already that our sister was going to die. But the sister was never said in her heart. She was never grieved by the will of God. And she stood for God. Reprimanding unbelievers. And the angel of the Lord was listening. We must know my brother, my sister.
Very precious, glorious morning. How many of you are happy, friends? Stand for God. Do not compromise the word of God. Do not compromise the principle of the word. Then we are dismissed. Let us sing it once. case with thanksgiving in my heart I will enter his cause with praise I will sing the sing
Yes, ma'am. 